Hello everyone and welcome to the level generation tutorial series part 6. I'm Gucci Devs, your host, and I'm gonna teach you how to do this. So let's get started. So uh, what we're gonna do in this video is to spawn some enemies and our player. Um, just to be clear, we ain't gonna create a player or any enemies. I just have some cubes right here. It's your own job to create um, the code and everything because this tutorial series ain't about creating a player or an enemy. I'm just showing you how to spawn that sh So, let's see what we got. So, we got this and it looks beautiful. Um, so, what we're gonna do is we have an entire array of all the ground tiles and we're just gonna loop through them and spawn something on them when we're done generating so let's get started uh, there we are okay so yes we are generating our level and when we're done generating we are going to call this finish function and it is uh, right here and here we call create walls um yeah so we're gonna create another function called uh spawn objects let's just call that what um what i just have to get used to this new keyboard okay uh spawn objects and in this one we're going to spawn our enemies and player so first off we're going to specify our player and enemy object so public game object player public game object enemy and then we're gonna need another variable for the amount of enemies and this is gonna be an integer and we're going to set it to 10 yes what uh enemy amount i guess yes and we don't really need anything else so let's get to the to the juicy part to the to the meaty part right here so we're gonna loop through this list of vector threes which is the created tiles and we're going to do that by saying for int i equal to zero i is less than what was the name credit tiles dot count i plus plus there we go and Do you know? No, 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 no. We're not going to do it that way. We're going to loop through. We are going to use a for loop, but we're not going to loop through the created tiles. We're going to loop through. Um, what are we going to loop through? The enemy amount. Bear in mind, I am doing this on the fly, so yeah. Um, enemy amount. For every enemy, we're going to spawn an enemy on a random tile. So we're going to say instantiate enemy on on a position, and that position is going to be the list of created tiles and the index. The index is going to be a random number between zero and the created tiles dot length. Uh, that count I mean there we go and the rotation is going to be quaternion dot identity there we go now we got the enemy spawned so let's check out this let's just quickly make sure we call the function first in the finish function um, there we go spawn objects now let's test it but make sure to always assign your variables 
So the player is on the player variable and the enemy is on the enemy variable. There we go. Let's see what happens. Bam! Okay. Nice. So if you had um if you had a real enemy with AI and stuff, they would be walking around now, I guess. So that's for the enemies. Now let's take a look at the player and we are going to spawn the player first. Because that's how we roll. No, that's because if you have some AI code that looks for the player, you're going to get an error unless you did some uh, catch thing to prevent an error. Never mind. Let's go. Um, we're going to instantiate a player and we're going to instantiate at a random spot. So let's just copy that line. And that's going to be quaternion.identity. And then we are all set. I think. Yes. Let's see. So our player is green. So we should be able to see him easily. And there he is. And that's, an, that's how we do it. So if you want to instantiate uh, some vegetation... Um, you can also do the same as you did with the enemies, just with a different prefab. And let's just quickly clean up some things, and let's go into the create tile. So when we create the tile, you can see that we're cluttering up the hierarchy. So let's create a, um, a parent, a parent for all the tiles. So let's do that. Um, we're gonna declare a new transform called parent, and there we go. And in the start, we're gonna set the parent to a new game object dot transform, and we're just going to set the parent dot name equals to level parent nice so when we play we're going to see level parent right there so that's our parent and now we just have to assign our tiles to it so let's do it in create tile and we also have to do it in create walls um, so created tiles Nope. We have to set the tile object dot transform dot parent equals to parent. Boom. And the parent is this transform right here. The the guy we create in the start function. Okay. Uh, now let's do it in the create walls. Uh, so first we have to say add this instantiated wall to a variable so we can add it to anything to something to the parent so game object wall wall obj equals to instantiate and we can either cast it say game object or we can say as game object over here but this is faster not faster in you know the processing but faster to write I think so wall obj dot transform dot parent equals to parent and that's it I guess yeah let's, let's see mm. so now everything should be less cluttered Unless you spawn a thousand enemies, but this looks fine. It's great. So now we have a level parent and we can spawn things. And that's it. So that was a video that was requested by some user that commented on my video. So I hope you, I hope it helped you. And thank you for watching.